everybody. Today's big idea is I can be faithful like God is faithful. But what does faithful mean? Faithful means I can always count on someone. You can always count on someone. Who is somebody that you can think of that you can trust, that you can count on, that will always be there for you? Today, when you watch your video, listen to hear how God is always faithful to you and me. And don't forget to read in your Bibles in Isaiah 64, verses 1 through 9. Breaking news, Carl, myself, has received a piece of mail from himself, and he'll be reading it this evening. Stay tuned. Welcome to TV. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. Y'all, I am so excited. Let me tell you why. So one year ago, I wrote a very special letter to a very special someone in my life. Someone who I love, who I look up to tremendously. Someone who will always have a very special place in my heart. This person's name? Carl. Me. It's me. I was talking about me. So you're probably wondering, Carl, why'd you write yourself a letter? What I did was wrote down some goals and dreams I hope to get done within one year. Then I promised myself I would work really hard to reach all my goals and to accomplish all my dreams. Hey Carl. Cassie, how are you? I'm good. You know what today is, right? Is it Iron Man's birthday? No, you know that's in April. 
No, today is one year since we wrote letters to ourselves. I know, right? I'm so excited. Wanna read yours first? Sure. I hope I kept a promise to myself and finished all the things that I hope to do. Me too. Alrighty. Let's see here. My number one goal was to finish schooling. Done. Number two was to get my dream job. Done. Number three was to go skydiving. That was a crazy day. Number four, finish my first marathon. Did that. And finally, number five, learn how to speak Icelandic. You didn't do that, did you? Yup. Wow, you accomplished everything. Yeah, I guess I did. That's awesome. That is awesome. I bet I did the same thing. No other way to find out. Let's see. All right, let's take a look. Goal number one of the thing I wanted to accomplish this past year is learn how to juggle. Did you learn how to juggle? Sure did. Let's see it then. Well, uh, I don't have three uh, random things that I could juggle, so. All right, here we go. Juggling time. Yep. Okay. It's okay, I'm sure you accomplished the rest. What are they? You're right, missing one isn't bad. Number two, get a haircut. Oh. I like your long hair. Number three, get rid of your glasses and start wearing contacts. Mm, man. Contacts can be more expensive over time, so if you think about it, you're saving money. Number four, become a millionaire. Sorry, Carl. What do you mean, sorry? How do you know I'm not a millionaire? I mean, I had to give you 75 cents last week so you could buy some chicken nuggets. Oh, what's the use? I failed myself. I didn't accomplish my dreams. I broke my promise to myself. Man. Carl. Carl, it's gonna be okay. How? I broke my promise! I wasn't faithful to the goals I set for myself. Well, it's funny you use that word. Which word? The word faithful, because that's something I've wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, what about it? Well, I was reading in Isaiah chapter 64 today, and I came across some verses that really made me think. Really? What was it about? Well, Isaiah wrote about how great God is and how powerful God can be. That all sounds good. But then he also wrote about how much we've all messed up and been distracted from what we're supposed to do, and that's worship God. I mean, I get that, but what's that got to do with me? Well, you mentioned that you weren't faithful to the goals you set, and you disappointed yourself, right? I sure did. Well, unfortunately, that's going to happen. We will mess up and fail, but that's not where it's going to end. Well, what do we do then? We try. We try to do a better job of being faithful, not only to ourselves, but to God. And when we fail, we try harder. The important part is to keep on trying. That sounds good, but it also sounds tiring though. It might be sometimes, but we choose to be faithful to God because God was faithful to us first. And God wants us to be people of our word too. Like not lying stuff? That and staying faithful to God. God never stops loving us, so we need to keep on following and loving God. Sometimes things happen that we can't explain, things that aren't so great, but we can't turn on God like people in the Bible did sometimes. We have to trust that no matter what happens, God is always- Faithful! That's right. Listen, maybe you didn't keep all your promises that you made to yourself one year ago, but if they're that important to you, you can keep at it until you meet those goals. That's what being faithful is all about. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that you and I can be faithful like God is faithful. Well, I don't know much, but I do know that that is a truth. And that's also, our big idea! <laughs>